Now this is a lizard pattern made by matchstick. So pattern number one, this is pattern number one, pattern number two, and so on. So let's make up a table first. So N for pattern number. So I'll say N for pattern number. Say, so let me write pattern number N. Pattern number. Let's say denote the letter N for it. And number of matchstick. Number of matchstick. So what do we want to find? We want to answer two questions. We want to find if this, in the 15th pattern, there will be how many matchsticks. So let's write what is clear. So in the first pattern, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six matchsticks. In the second pattern, you got six till here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so plus five. The third pattern, so this is up to the second pattern. So the third pattern is plus five, which is, how much plus five is uh, 16 and the fourth pattern starts from here so again that is four is the uh, plus five which is 21. My, our question is we want to find how many are there in the 15th pattern in the in the 15th pattern there will be how many matchsticks and from that we also want to find if in the nth pattern, there will be how many matchstick? So let's just look at the numbers. Okay, so here, if you look deeper, you will see things. So this is, this is six. So can I write this as six plus something? Well, this is six plus, what is 11? Six plus five. Can I write 16 as six plus something? Six plus 10. This is six plus 15. Okay, now if you go in deeper, so this can be written as 6 plus 1 times 5. This is 6 plus 2 times 5. And this is 6 times 6 plus 3 times 5. So this is 15, this is 10, and this is 5. And this, if you want to write, this is 6 plus zero times five. So now I want to see a relation between this one and this zero. So what is common is six and five. Can you see a relation between this two and this one? This three and this is two. So this four and this three. So if you look closely, all these numbers, six, 11, 16, and 21, is made up of two numbers which is six and five and of course there is a number with five so well i can say one sorry zero is one less than one this one is two less than one this two one is two less than two sorry two is one less than three and three is one less than four so using that same pattern, I can say, well, this has to be, if this is 15, this has to be 6 plus what times 15? Sorry, what times 5? So it will be 14 times 5. You have to go 1 less than this number. Okay, so this is 14 times 10 is 140. So this is 6 plus uh, 140, half of 140 is 70. So this has to be 67. So using that same pattern, I can say, well, if you want to find the nth pattern, this would be 6 plus n minus 1 times 5. The nth pattern would be 6 plus n minus 1 times 5. So let's expand this out. So this is 6 plus, this you have to use a bit of algebra, 5 times n minus 1. So this is 6 plus 5n minus 5. So your final answer is for the nth pattern, for the nth pattern, it would be 5n plus 1. n pattern would be 5n plus 1. Okay. So here, how did I get 1? 6 minus 5 is 1. 
Okay, so let's check this, use this. So can you see this is five times one plus one. This would be five times two. N stands for the pattern number plus one. This is five times three plus one. And this is five times four plus one. So using that same, you can go five times 15, which is 75, 5 times 15, uh, oh, this should be 75, yeah, 70 plus 6 is 76, that's why, so it's good to check, okay, I made a mistake, 70 plus 6 is not 67, this is 76, good to check, so it does make sense, this is 75 plus 1, which is 76. Okay, now we're going to use that to find, if you want to go up to the fifth, tenth pattern, what's the total number of math sticks? Okay. So, let me give you a, suppose S1, that means S1 means the sum, the total, so let me write T1. Okay, in most of the books they use S1, but let me write T1. T1 for st T1. For the first sequence, if you are doing only one sequence, you need six math sticks. If you need, if you want to go up to the second math stick, sorry, second pattern, it will be six plus 11. Okay, because the second pattern is six plus 11, which is 17. If you want to go to the up to the third pattern, it will be six plus 11 plus plus 5, 6 plus 11, 6 plus 11 plus 16. Okay, so this we know is 17 plus 16, which is 33. So the question is, if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, you have to go 6 plus, 6 plus 11 plus 16 up to the 10th pattern. So this is, we know, if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, it will be, what will be in the 10th pattern? So in the 10th pattern, so we know the formula, which is 5 times 10 plus 1, which is, this is 50 plus 1, which is 51. Okay. So we want to go up to 51 plus 51. That's our question. Okay, so this is what we want to find. Okay, so what can we do? Okay, so let's write this like this. So T10, I'm going to write this as 6 plus 11 plus 16 plus dot 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 plus I'll write 51 what is 5, because you're going, you're increasing, uh, this is increasing by how much? This is increasing by 5. Okay, so if you go backwards, you take away 5, which is 46, plus you take away 5, which is 41. So now can I write T10 also like this? Can I write this as 51 plus 46 plus 41? Plus, plus this is 16, plus 11, plus 6. So let's add this. Okay. So this is T10 plus T10, which is 2 times T10. 2 times T10 is, this is how much? This is 51 plus 6 is 57, plus this is how many times? This is again 57. This is also 57 plus dot 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 up to this is 57 plus 57 plus 57. Okay, so I'm going to divide. So this is 2 times t10. How many lots of 57 do you have? Well, that's 10 lots of 57. 10 lots of 57, so T10, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So if you divide this side by 2, 
you can divide this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, T10, or the total number of math stick, if you are going up to the 10th pattern, would be 570 divided by 2. Okay, so which is half of 500, so this I am going to, I'm, I want to do without a calculator, divided by 2, which is 250 plus 35, which is 285. So if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, the total number of math sticks you need is 285 math sticks.